So yes, I more or less succeeded with completely controlling such a Sunstar SO3 motor from an Arduino Nano. So I read the torque sensor and I send new uh, signals um, so I can emulate uh, that I really am pedaling and so the motor kicks in and I yeah, somehow achieved to, to s simulate uh, the display. Uh, and um, so where to start? Right now I still need a 5 volt here from, from USB. So uh, you, you would need such a, uh, that's uh, 80 volts. So if you search for step down 80 volt, uh, because a 10S a 36 volt can go up to 42 volts. Oh, um, but you could try these very common and, and, and cheap um, that's uh, 3 amps, so you would also have USB on, on your bike, but it only goes to 40 amp, uh, 40 volt, and so it's a bit risky. It should also go, uh, and it's very cheap, so you can try this. And of course, if you have a 20 volt, 24 volt uh, pedal leg, then uh, because I have the 24 volt version. So uh, where to start? The problem right now is that the communication for the display, uh, the, the motor is sending, uh, I think, two bytes um, for the status of the motor, like if it's uh, what pedal assist mode and if the light is on. And um, I think it's um, first byte is the, the data, second byte is the uh, just FF. And after that, the, the no normal display, uh, where, where is it? Somewhere, somewhere here. <laughs> it returns uh, the, the state of the buttons. And um, I was not able to achieve to sync this because here this, this, um, I al already have a software serial for the torque sensor because I needed parity. And um, so the second serial um, software serial did not work at all because I cannot have two insta instances on such as. So I using the all original uh, original uh, serial it's just an alias right now but it's the original serial and uh, with 19,200 uh, the original uh, what I measured is in 19,375 that's uh, here so th these are the, the bytes uh, that the uh, motor is sending so this is the status byte and that's as I said FFF and so I well this is the mode um, I, I learned and, and this is the light bit and it's very it's unusual it's 18 bit with not uh, with no stop it so it's only a start bit eight bits and uh, then the parity and then already the next start bit for for this ff and and, and therefore it's i'm really having difficulties to to really uh, read this and for especially to sync it so I never really was able to receive this FFF and afterwards sending it and even so sending a serial communication here, uh, um, it does not. So if we go down, um, sorry here, so I, I tried the serial event and so when I read the data then to immediately uh, write um, the return the state of the buttons I can make it a little bit more. So I don't know, serial.flash did not work at all. And therefore, uh, I can now um, put 5 volt to the system. So the motor, you see it's here. That's what the motor is sending. But my return answer is, is not aligned at all. It's, it's just some. And I'm quite lucky that the motor does not go to, into arrow mode. So sometimes it goes into arrow mode, but with this Arduino, I, I don't think I succeed with uh, really sending my state of the buttons after I received these two bytes. So I simply uh, more or less, uh, I, I just, as, as I showed, I'm sending it after I received uh, some serial data, but <laughs> But the data is not sent immediately, but before when the uh, system likes. And therefore, that's a problem I still have. And so I have to now pull it off now to show you the working system. So, first, uh, you see power on the motor. Now we have here the 24 volts. And then, um, I, after I have to, afterwards, then I have to. Um, activate here the, the controller board 
And so now if I here push the button, then the motor should start. Here's a blinking LED, you might see it. So it's a green LED that um, I can read. So this is the mode two, and now I try, um, I'm sending uh, the, the boost button. So, and indeed, you see now the LED, I can read here. I can read this first byte, at least sometimes I can read it. And there's a bit of error. Uh, Hello. Here at the error, some error checking that the first four bytes have to be, be uh, like this. Then I uh, really take the spits that I showed you here. So you see if it's these four, four bytes, you have to, it's inverted. It, and it's, it's a, it's a byte, it's a bit order. So if these four bits are okay, then I really uh, take this here, these three bits. Uh, one, one, and this one. To, to set the mode. So right now I already really confirmed that the motor is in the high speed mode. So now I try to go to the low mode. Huh? And you see now <laughs> that sometimes this happens that the controller, I think this is because um, this is not aligned and I, I cannot send uh, uh, without a stop bit. So uh, I really need to move on to the ESP32 where I have th uh, three hardware serials that I can map to every pin. Uh, and um, it's not really reliable with Arduino or Nano. Uh, at least um, maybe you can tell me uh, how to uh, really immediately send serial data and to immediately uh, have an interrupt to receive the, the data. I could try these uh, next Arduino micro, it's at least another chip, it's also 60 megahertz. So let's start again. You see first, first battery power, then <coughs> things. Now I can start the motor. And now I go to um, high speed and now this should be low mode. So you see the LED is blinking, I think two, in my code, so it's a slow blinking LED. If I now it's blinking faster, that's the middle, middle boost mode. And if I put it again, then I'm in high speed mode. So, but you see now again, no, I, I turned off the motor. <laughs> so let's try, see if I can. Yeah. Okay, so at least you see I've <laughs> decoded and encoded all the data. As I said, you need to uh, uh, so it's a byte order. That was my old function. It's a bit <laughs> simple, so I have uh, more, more freedom. This is uh, faster to invert the bit order. And yeah. <sighs> That's work for today. Okay, bye-bye.